Live at four, let's look at the store. And we've got a blog post that came out today. The two most important thing in the blog post is that in the raid store, we will be getting Zemo on the third. And a couple people in chat, like JLB Gamer, mentioned that uh, Zemo is going to be quite excellent for getting through those Hella notes. Uh, a lot of people in chat are suggesting that maybe Zemo and four aim would probably be uh, one of the easier paths for new people to get through and to get Hella because Hella is an important important character in this game. I've talked about it many a times. And then also, uh, on uh, there, they mentioned in this blog post right here that Ebony Ma is going to be the legendary can uh, event. And so if that's going to, my guess is that's going to be on Monday the tenth. So raid store on the third. Zemo. And Ebony Maw legendary event is my guess. And, and Ebony Maw, of course, requires Black Bolt and four Inhumans. Probably most people use the four Inhumans without Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo is just really hard to get. Also, I got to tell this story. This is the worst story I've ever had in playing Alliance Wars. Unfortunately, it wasn't streaming because it, this is the story I'm going to tell my grandkids when I get older. And, and tears are going to come by my, my eyes right now when I'm thinking about it. And it happened at 4.30 in the morning. Imagine looking at your opponent and your opponent has Emma Rodders. And instead of Sabretooth, they have Doc Ock. And so, I, and so I said, huh, I've got my Black Order left over. This should be an easy matchup. Literally a 200k punch down. 690 Black Order versus 480 or something like that. Emirators with Doc Ock. And I'm like, no worries. So I'm going, it's 4.30 in the morning. I'm, I'm going into the battle. Mr. Sinister clones Proxima. I'm like, ah, that's not good. Please, please, please don't stun Thanos. Proxima stuns Thanos. Then guess what happens? Doc Ock extended the stun. Thanos stage stunned the entire match. And I literally started crying. Cat was like, get out of here, you're waking me up. Quit playing your games at 4.30 in the morning. Go on the couch. And I, and I said, but babe, it was a 200K punch down with Black Order. And she was like, I don't care, that doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah. Epic fail. I wish I would have recorded this match, man. I, I was completely blindsided by this. I mean, it's RNG. Uh, it was also Reactor, and Reactor is kind of challenging. And then also, you know, Doc Ock prevents all the offense down from Ebony Ma. And I don't know if I'm going to build this team, but it's interesting. Anyways, Shadowlands. Let's talk about Shadowlands. Uh, I pulled chat, and it looks like 52% of the people are skipping and the other 48% are going to invest on it. My my thing, my feeling is about Shadowland. We're talking about White Tiger and Moon Knight. Still no word on how Moon Knight's going to be released. My guess is that we're going to have packs for sale maybe as early as Monday. I think they've, they're have they not doing Saturday, Sunday releases anymore, but my guess is probably set, uh, Monday. We'll see. But should you skip Shadowland? And I don't have a good answer for this. Here's the thing. I feel that this team is going to be as important as Zemo is with Red Skull on offense. I mean, it's it's going to be a very good offensive war team. Now, let me say this. Is Astonishing X-Men more important? Yes! Am I more excited about the future of the, the, the X-Force meta? Yes! Is Shadowlands good? Yes! Can you skip it? Maybe. Maybe. I don't have a specific answer to this. I think it depends on how important offensive war teams. I do think offensive war teams are way more important and defensive war teams and people should be focusing on offensive war teams rather than defensive war teams i mean defensive war teams are whatever bedwetter that being said we're gonna go to offer review i also want to say there's a very interesting offer here on my uh my free-to-play account we'll talk about that offer here in a minute where it looks like it's kind of a wave one avengers ancestral spirit orb offer so this is the the orbs that i do like uh, what I mean by that is these are the orbs that give minimum six, maximum 180, average of nine. Uh, I value these orbs at $3 a piece. So I guess this is worth 15 bucks to me. 
and I and because she's a campaign character, event campaign character, which is you know typically perceived as the most free to play friendly way of getting new character releases. I'm not I'm not focused on her, and I do the 50 cores on that. I refresh the energies with 50s, uh, and I get a good value on it. Plus the orbs in the campaign, which give different payouts. They average about five white tiger shards per orb. But there's, the, I would say at least a quarter of the characters in their orbs are quite good. There's a lot of really good characters in their orbs. I'm pretty excited about this event campaign, uh, the orbs that they come with. Let's move on. Uh, Mega Orb Bundle. We talked about this yesterday. I personally value Mega Orbs at $5 a piece. So this is two and a half Mega Orbs. So this is about twelve and a half dollars I value these right here at $2 a piece. So that's $4. $2 a piece, $4. And then this last orb... Um, Ancestral Spirit Orb, which is the same orb as right there. That's worth about three bucks uh, for White Tiger. Uh, so if you value these at five, Mega Orbs at $5 a piece, it doesn't quite add up to $35. Now, new players sometimes value uh, Mega Orbs more than I do because I get a lot of duplicates and it just goes into Ultimus food. That being said, I'm not going to buy this. It's a little bit too pricey for me. Uh, but you know, if you uh, go for it, do what you got to do. I, I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Anyways, let's move on. I talked about this yesterday. I'm going to buy this. And I said, I was going to buy this before I started my offer review at best gold orbs were $2 a piece. This here is worth another two bucks. This is a Bishop orb. The good one averages about nine. And I do value that at $3. So this does add up for me. Plus I'm, I'm, I want to get Bishop up to six because I have a six red and I currently only have them at five. We're running the Bishop Blitz right now. So for me, I need gold. Other thing too. Oh, I need to get my coins. Uh, let's see here. Um, use one click sign. Let's see, let's just see if it goes. Hmm. All right, let's do this real quick. We're gonna have to take a minute. So in my Discord and or in chat here or at the bottom of every single YouTube video, I've got a link for Amazon Coins. And Amazon Coins, I'm sponsored by Amazon Coins, but this does save me. This actually saved me $100 last month uh, by doing this. I was able to get 1,000 10, Amazon Coins, and it's 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 been, been good if you're a big spender. Now, here's the thing is the link that I'm talking about only works for 24 hours. I do get credit for it. I'm sponsored by Amazon and it's a uh, thank you for everybody that use it, but it only works uh, for 24 hours. So I don't know if um, you want to like, if you want to continue supporting me, you have to like, uh, like hot, you know, bookmark the link or something like that. I just use it. So we're going to go ahead and do that again. Let's see here. Get wrecked wallets. Oh my God. Right. All right. There we go. So basically that cost me $82 for uh, $100 of in-game currency. So it did save me a hundred bucks. I've been spending about $400 a month on, on Marvel Strike Force, which is more than I want to do. But someone said, How, what's the difference between a whale and a Kraken? I think whale spends hundreds, Kraken spend thousands. Anyways, let's move on. Advanced basic catalyst offer. Uh, at best, I value uh, uh, purple materials at 10 cents a piece. I'm not in the market for purple gear, so I'm not going to be buying this. Right here, we've got uh, the correct valuation. If you're in the market for ABCs, this is typically the best price they sell them for. Let's move on. Uh, Tempest Queen offer. I like this offer. Here's the deal. This is worth about two bucks. That's worth a buck. And that's probably worth at least a buck. So you got like $4 worth of orbs right there. And so uh, you're basically getting 50 storm shards for a buck and you're getting a bunch of orbs. So I really like this offer. Uh, I don't need it because I've already got Storm at seven stars, so I'm not going to buy this. Let's move on. Resource offer. Okay, I think this is, you know, if you're going to want to get Zemo, this is the currency that allow you to get Zemo. What, Zemos are going to cost 1400 So how many is that? Three? So you can get a total of 15 Zemo shards for 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 three bucks. If that's one way to look, I'm going to be opening the orbs. They also can get a lot of gear. I'm not going to buy this because I've got over 100,000 currency right now. Uh, yeah, I think I've got more than 100,000 currency. I've got 200,000 currency, so I'm not going to be buying that. I have 200,000 of that currency, so I'm not going to do that. Infiltrator Orb Bundle. I don't like this offer. This is, even though this is the orb that I like, 
uh, or I like this orb more than event cam Kmars, but at the end of the day, this orb is going to net about 5.4 white tiger shards per orb for five orbs. So if you're looking just for white tiger, it's not the best way to do it. But this orb does have other characters. Now, my suggestion is to refresh the campaign energy with the 50 refreshes, 50 cores, 50 cores, 50 cores, 200 cores, and you will net out about 2,600 to 3,000 fragments for 200 cores. And that's just a better deal than doing it this way. Let's move on. Uh, Sorcerer Supreme Orb. Uh, we talked about this yesterday. Uh, this is worth about a buck. This is worth about two bucks, three dollars. So you basically will be getting 180 uh dr strange for 12 13 dollars is that worth 14 15 is that worth the price ah uh, it's kind of hard to say here's the thing is uh, dr strange is a good offensive war team you know you have to build the team you know with mordo and and ghost rider uh the only you know a lot of speculation has been out there about another uh a legendary supernatural maybe blade or something like that i mean that's just speculation i i don't know if that's true or not uh, most of the rumors I've been hearing lately about the next important big characters is probably going to be Silver Surfer. I've been hearing that name a lot. Uh, but do what you got to do. You know, I've got this. I think this character is relatively easy to get through normal means. I don't like this at all. Character Red Star offer five bucks for two Red Stars. To me, I just don't know what two Red Stars is going to do. For most people, you know, effective amount of Red Stars is going to be three or four or five, depending on who you're talking to. So I don't see, see the point. Gear tier 15 draft. Um, not a fan of this, but I know that they've made a fortune on this, and I have bought this in the past, but this is outrageous pricing. Basically, this is pricing the, the 15 pieces at a buck and a half a piece. I'm about 200 pieces short from finishing the 16 characters required to get through Dark Dimension 4. Uh, so if I was to, you know, that, you know, buying those 200 pieces outright would cost me about 300 bucks. And I think at one point I needed a thousand. If I would have just bought this, that would have cost me $1,500 to get Doom. Anyways, this is ultra premium pricing for people that want to get doom early and fast the people that went through dark dimension 4 quickly i can almost guarantee that they were buying this pack so do what you got to do i'm not buying this anymore uh anyways mega orb sale it would say together one two three trash no way at best these are worth four dollar five dollars a piece so we're gonna have to hard pass on that no way no no way T1 Ion Offer. I'm not in the market for this, but I will say I have bought this in the past because the choke point for me is Ions on the ISO 8 system, but uh, this is not great pricing. Let's move on. Endless Energy Bundle. Uh, this right here is an, a normal offer that appears in the store twice a week. Uh, if you're pushing for level 80 and or trying to take advantage of some sort of double drops, uh, then there you go. Uh, but I, this is not a, not a special deal. I'm not going to buy it. Anyways, Orb Draft. This has the watermelon orb, which I do not like. This is the one dollar offer I do not like. Premium orbs have value at a buck. Gold orbs two bucks. Ability orbs ten cents. I just don't like them. Basic orbs have value about a buck, actually under a buck. So I don't buy this one here because of the ability orb in there. War uh, war consumable bundle no longer need that because I'm a dirty blitzer. Mix energy bundle again same thoughts as that other energy bundle. Not really a value unless you're pushing for level eighty or trying to take advantage of double drops. Ultimate Orb Frenzy Offer, at best I value these at $2 a piece, so 12 bucks. Those right there, uh, $2 a piece, so $6. Total value to me of $18, not worth $25. Limited time sale, this is not good either. This is kind of why I bought the other offer. Uh, uh, you know, the other offer I bought for 10 bucks, what had 6,000 of this, and it had 2,000, and it had a Bishop Orb. Nope, 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 nope. So at, at best, this here is worth two bucks a piece. So that's four dollars. That's worth a buck. So five dollars value. The other uh, the other pack that I bought was at least twice as good as this pack here. Let's move on. I think we're in the trash area. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is all garbage down here. Scopely, please bring back the ten for ten. Let's switch over to the other account. And um, I just want to talk about this. This is a, this is a strange offer for me. Uh, what it is right here is thirty bucks. You get 100, 100, 100, 45 and forty five, which is confusing. And then you can't see it right here. It's fifty bucks for the same five characters, but you get 180 shards each. Now, the character that's the most challenging to get out of this is Thor, and Vision doesn't really fit on this team technically. I mean, ideally you want to fit Hulk on there, but uh, this is a, a good team, not only early game, but mid game and late game. Actually, it's it's been holding up quite well on defense on war. Uh, depending on the star level and the power level of the Hulk. 
So this is is a a, a Kraken snack, if you will, if you're a a new player that spends money and you want to get a team up and running and you want to save time. But the truth of it is that these are these characters are relatively easy to get, with the exception of Thor in the raid store, in my opinion. So um, I, I can't if, if you know if this was. 180 180 180 180 for like for like 30 bucks i might be more excited about it but it's 50 bucks like if if this offer was over here for 30 bucks i think i would get more excited about it it's not a no-brainer it it really isn't all right let's move on and uh go through the rest of these offers right here and this is my secondary account and so we're going to skip over all the duplicate offers and and only look at the offers that are um not on my other account so this i i did buy this is a premium orb uh for one dollar which is kind of my baseline price uh, i did buy this on my other account yesterday so i typically do pick up premium orbs on a buck just because i've been looking for yo-yo i'm like 14 shards short from finishing yo-yo so i try to get these premium orbs in just to finish up yo-yo uh, i was able to finish up call yesterday but anyways uh, we talked about that. We talked about that. Wrath of the Gods orb. Um, I believe. I believe has the Black Bolt event ended. Black Bolt event, I believe, is finished. So I don't see the point of this. Um, I, I don't know because I didn't participate in the Black Bolt event, but I believe it's all done. And so I don't. If the Black Bolt event is over, there's no point in buying this because this. The, the idea behind this pack was, you know, last last minute resort to get your S Guardians up and running so that you could get Black Bolt. This is not the best way to get the Asgardians. I would get them under normal ways. All right, so let's skip over all of this. We're going to skip down to, like I said, offers that are not duplicate. Boy, we're going through it. I think we're going to wrap up offer review. Yeah, we're done it. All right, are you excited about Zemo coming into the raid store? I am. I'm like 15 shards short from finishing up. And I got to say, I'm not really a fan of Zemo in RTA. Uh, but Zemo's pretty good. I like Zemo. Also, they said there's going to be a stature blitz also in the, the blog post. And then, of course, we said mentioned Ebony Ma, which I'm guessing will be on the 10th. All right, let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming.